Hello and welcome to another episode of A Brief History. Today's episode, Let Me Explain Studios. Ready, set, go. Early January 2006. Lifelong artist and high school senior Rebecca Parham begins to delve deeper into her passion for drawing while also exploring the exciting and only slightly dangerous world of online fandom. And of course, art kid plus fandom equals fan art. So Rebecca very quickly set up a DeviantArt account where she posted her drawings. And it was through her activity on DeviantArt that Rebecca eventually stumbled upon a little website called YouTube. But of course, this was 2006, and YouTube was only just starting to gain traction. It was in no way the massive online video juggernaut that it is today. Even so, Rebecca was still very much intrigued by the site and wanted to get in on the fun. And thus, on April 18th, 2006, Rebecca set up her very first YouTube channel under the username Grizabella626. Now, most YouTubers first starting out back in the day would usually try making vlogs, sketch comedy videos, maybe music videos, etc. So naturally, Rebecca's first videos were Ed Ed and Eddie AMVs set to various show tunes. Points for originality, I guess. But unfortunately, continuing to fill the Ed Ed and Eddie Broadway crossover niche on YouTube was not in Rebecca's future, as she would soon be packing her bags, moving out, and heading off to animation school. And over the next several years, Rebecca's interest in YouTube just sort of fizzled out as she was dedicating 100% of her attention to her animation classes. Fast forward to the summer of 2012, just before starting starting her senior year at college, and suddenly YouTube was a very different place. The site was hitting the mainstream, and all sorts of creators were making a living off of their independent content. The early 2010s in particular were a very special time for YouTube. So many channels were flourishing at this time with new and exciting content. And when Rebecca inevitably noticed this YouTube renaissance, it instantly re-sparked her old love for the website. Rebecca dove headfirst back into the world of YouTube immersing herself in all sorts of different content. And just like in high school, Rebecca once again mixed her artistic talent with her shameless fangirl nature by making all sorts of YouTuber fan art, particularly art of the first YouTuber she ever subscribed to, Danebow, creator of The Annoying Orange. And to her surprise, Rebecca's Danebow art actually caught the attention of the orange himself, and he freaking loved it. So much so that after keeping in touch with Rebecca for a few months, he decided to toss a collaboration her way, asking her to animate a music video for his song Stuck in an Emo Band, which, of course, Rebecca agreed to. The video was uploaded to Danebow's channel on December 6, 2013, and went over really well. This was Rebecca's first big project after graduating from college, as well as one of her first major non-school or Ed Ed and Eddie related YouTube videos. So obviously, it's a pretty big deal. But one of the more interesting things to come out of the project was Rebecca's behind the scenes video where this little character made her first appearance. Look familiar? It's the odd ones out. <laughs> So in the wake of Stuck in an Emo Band, Rebecca made the decision to finally try and pursue YouTube as a career, while freelancing to pay the bills. She started releasing animated sketches and parodies, and even struck a modest hit with her video, Things Animation Girls Say. But eventually, after talking with some of the Annoying Orange crew about branding, it became clear to Becca that her channel name, Grizabella626, was just not going to be marketable. Unfortunately, Becca's channel was apparently too old for her to just change the name, forcing her to set up a new channel and jump ship. Which is exactly what she did, launching her new channel, Let Me Explain Studios, on February 17th, 2014. And with this new channel, Rebecca continued working on short sketches and parodies. But like I said, this was 2014. The infamous YouTube algorithm shift had already occurred two years prior, and the kind of content Rebecca was spending months and months to make was just not sustainable. If Rebecca was going to try and make YouTube her career, she was going to have to think outside of the box. And jumping back to her Grizabella days, one of her more interesting uploads on that channel was a video called Stuck in a Bank, which was an animated version of one of Danebow's storytime vlogs. This video was pretty different than many of Rebecca's other cartoons, mixing animation with vlogging a la Swoozy. And she had always been interested in revisiting this animated storytelling format. And so, on June 23rd, 2015, Rebecca did just that 
Cat, posting her very first full-fledged animated story video to the Let Me Explain Studios channel. And from that point on, animated storytelling became Rebecca's bread and butter, allowing her to upload on a more frequent basis, build up more of an audience, and become a member of the burgeoning community of similar creators. But that's not to say that she had completely abandoned sketch comedy. In fact, come January of 2017, while going through files on her computer, Becca rediscovered a script she had written nearly three years prior for a video called How to Creep Out Your Favorite YouTubers at Conventions. And pretty much on a whim, Rebecca decided to tweak the script, ask a few of her YouTube friends to collaborate, and make the dang video. And make the dang video she did, releasing the final product featuring Danebo, Tom Scott, and Jaden Animations on May 5th, 2017. Now, by this point, the Let Me Explain Studios channel had been online for over three years and had amassed a modest following of around 25,000 subscribers. But dear lord, when Becca's conventions video dropped, something just clicked, and both the video and her channel started to blow up. Her channel jumped from around 25,000 subs all the way to 100,000 in less than two months. And as Rebecca continued to upload new videos, her numbers only continued to grow. Suddenly, her new animated story videos were gaining millions of views, where only a few months prior, they rarely cracked 20,000. By October of 2017, Let Me Explain Studios had surpassed 500,000 subscribers, and as of March 19th, 2018, the channel has passed 1 million subscribers. The growth of Rebecca Parham's channel has been insane, becoming the latest member of the animated storytelling community to take YouTube by storm. And this did not go unnoticed by YouTube, for on December 6, 2017, Becca was featured along with several other members of the YouTube animation community at the end of 2017's YouTube Rewind. And while that whole rewind situation came with its fair share of, uh, hiccups, it more than solidified Rebecca's place within the YouTube community. Rebecca Parham's popularity on YouTube embodies something that I feel a lot of people tend to forget about success. These days, there tends to be this mentality that success has this, like, time limit. That if you don't make it within a few years of starting, then you've missed your chance and you might as well give up. But Rebecca has been on YouTube since 2006, was making regular content on the site as far back as 2013, and didn't gain any major popularity until just last year in 2017. That's a long time, especially on YouTube. And I mean, imagine if in 2016, Rebecca decided that after a decade on the site, it was time to throw in the towel and try something else. She would have missed out on some incredible, life-changing events. But she kept going out of her sheer passion for her work and is finally receiving the recognition she deserves. Now more than ever, finding success on YouTube is a daunting and difficult task. And recent changes in YouTube's monetization policies have discouraged many smaller YouTubers who are still trying to get started. But if Rebecca Parham's story has proven anything, it's that it is never too late to find success doing what you love. Congrats on 1 million, Becca, you frickin' nerd. Thanks for watching, guys. DFTBA. Hey everyone, Rebecca here. Wow, what a video. Thanks, writer. You done right by me. I mean, you have been talking about doing this video for a long time now. Like, months. He gets excited about these things. Anyways, if you guys like this, then I just uploaded my 1 million subscriber milestone video on my channel. It was a very big collaboration with Ryder, he helped me out in a big way and it wouldn't have happened without him, so go over and check it out. If you're here from my channel, go ahead and subscribe to Ryder, he's a good friend of mine and his A Brief History series is pretty dang awesome. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, you can do that too. Thank you so much for tuning in, but don't forget to be awesome.